Well, it's often recognized as a smoker's disease, but the CDC says up to 40,000 lung cancers each year are diagnosed in people who either never smoked or in some cases were light smokers. While researchers do believe secondhand smoke is leading as the contributor to this, there is also another factor that may be making people sick. For CBS Miami, Mandy Gaither exposes the hidden cancer danger that may be lurking in your home and how you can find it. In 2018, Chastity Harney was at school when this teacher says she felt a sharp pain in her chest. When I took a deep breath in, it was, it was excruciating. The pain was better the next day, but Harney's doctor scheduled a CT scan. She says the results were shocking. When I walked in her office, there was a chair pulled out and a box of tissues. And so I'm thinking, okay. And she said, there's no easy way to tell you this, but um, you have two pretty good size tumors, mass on your left lung. Harney was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer, but she says she's never smoked. Her doctor suspect it was caused by a radioactive gas called radon that can seep into homes and buildings through the soil. I, I had no idea what radon was. I never heard radon before. Researchers estimate nearly 3,000 lung cancer cases in the U.S. are linked to radon. If you have lungs, you can get lung cancer. Hardy's doctor David Carbone with the Ohio State University Comprehensive Cancer Cancer Center says it's important to test for radon in your home. You can get a kit from a state radon office, hire a qualified radon tester, or buy a kit from a hardware store. So the EPA recommends for sure mitigating to a level below four picocuries, um, but they suggest uh, below two. If you have symptoms like chronic cough or shortness of breath, be aware and talk to a doctor. Arnie says she was given six months to live, but with targeted therapy, she's beaten the odds, surviving this incurable disease for years. My journey's not over yet, and God continues to use me. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Well, that is an eye opener, right? So if you do detect radon in your home, the Environmental Protection Agency recommends hiring a qualified company to install a radon reduction system. Uh, for more information on how to get a test kit to detect that gas, the CDC says the state radon office can obviously let you know where to get one. You can also buy a radon test kit online. Better be safe than sorry. Check Absolutely. it out, right?